All right, everybody. So we are back with another episode, episode three of my Let's Play series of Factorio <clears throat> Space Exploration Mod. So um, I'm looking at uh, some of the mods here that were in my list before, and I might go back and add a few mods after some suggestions from people. We already have things like Squeak Through, and as you see here, um, and things of that nature, and so we're going to totally use some of them. But I'm going to familiarize myself with some of the mods a bit more because um, I don't, I just don't know them enough. Um, where did you, dude? For more from Formatron, um, we have jackpacks in here, which is kind of cool. Um, equipment gantry can insert equipment into you know, equipment grid in a three and three. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to spend some time looking at. Um, Looking at some of the the uh, mods that I, I might want to add, quality of life mods, for sure, because um, we definitely need um, we definitely need some more. Because uh, I just I've heard some suggestions that there are some good ones out there, and that's what we're gonna look for, um, and we're gonna we're gonna try to put them all together for us here um, to make this a little bit more enjoyable for ourselves. Can I collect you? I don't know what you do. I guess you're just kind of hanging out. Whatever. Um, and yeah, so we are now at that point where automation is going to be part of a thing. We have uh, upgraded our things here. So these are now properly making uh, iron plates. Uh, purposely, probably not enough, but yeah, probably not enough. Can I put 100 in there? Yeah, it went up to 100. So yeah, we're definitely going to be um, upgrading this whole assembly fairly quickly because what we're going to want to be doing is we're going to want this to always be, um, as you can see here, it's barely producing enough for me to keep this whole system going. So we're going to need lots and lots. Um, but we have this going and we have all of our inserters and everything. The only thing that still require fuel are these and that's why we're working on automation because right now automation does require burner assemblies and I'd like it to be electric and then we can start substituting them all out and then they'll just work indefinitely and we can take all that coal and turn it into fuel um, which is going to be great cool very cool I'm excited to see where this takes us um, all right so we're now waiting for automation to finish I don't think we want to go crazy here um, yeah Let's go ahead and just drop some of you in there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Or no, 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 no. We want you to have that in there. You guys are using that. That's full. That's fine. Everybody here should be using... Yeah, everybody is. And you're my first electric drill, so that's fine. I'm going to need as much of this from you as possible so we can continue the uh, you need iron too so kind of the downfall is that we don't have all this being supplied with iron automatically and we could start working on that but we we won't be doing that until we have this whole setup removed and replaced with something a little more efficient electric drills Putting, um, they don't have to be directly into the um, uh, coal miners. That's not uh, the coal, the coal miners, the uh, furnaces. But at least in putting them onto a, a belt, uh, it gets them uh, further away, and we can make up a smelting assembly. Because that's kind of the main goal. So let's see here. Cool. You're not being supplied with anything, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. And we'll go ahead and put... Alright. Coal could be what goes into here, just because we don't need... And then once it's emptied, then we'll, we'll put these in there. And we got plenty of plates going around. Let's get that finished up. We're really close. Very, very, very close. Yeah, so this whole setup here is, is really slow acting. 
We don't even have any engines like being produced. Once these are all filled up, which they probably will be shortly. Yeah. All right, we'll check in with you guys once this uh, we are at the stage where automation is finished and we're going to start converting these over. See you in a moment. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our tech trees now that automation is finished. What do we want to work on next? Automation can give us electronics, so we're probably going to need that very soon. We don't need heavy armor at this moment. Glass processing uh, will help us with improving our electrical lab. Okay, optics, great. Meteor point def defense, mm, that could be worth it. Um, at least what that's oil processing will be something we want to do at some point. Steel axe, it's not that important. Basic fuel handling, again, we're not at that point yet either. A turret situation, text plates are unnecessary. You might just do electronics to start. Uh, yeah, we'll do electronics to start. All right, so now I believe we can make, yes, assembly machines. So they require electric motors a burner assembly machine and iron gears so iron gears we really need iron gears is clearly a an issue here so <clears throat> we have electric miners that we can deal with here we're gonna have to like cut this off we'll have to slow down all of this and we're gonna have to reorganize all this so let's Let's go ahead and rethink all of this section right here, and we're going to go ahead and deconstruct it. Can we make nat- I don't think I have nanobots installed. That would be one of those things that are good for deconstructing things really quickly. Yeah, I don't have nanobots. So that's, that's fine. So let's just go ahead and delete all of this as quickly as we can, because this is not going to stay like this. Collect all of these goods. Thank God it doesn't like destroy the things. Like in any other game in the world, I feel like they're always destroying things when this sort of thing happens. If you're like doing any deletion, it just automatically destroys it and you gotta rebuild it. So this allows you to recycle everything, which is kind of nice. Alright, so let's start with that. We need to build electric miners that. We no longer need fuel for, so we can just build a bunch of electric miners. Those are burners, so we need electric motors, and electric motors require iron gears, copper plates, and iron wheels, so as long as we have some iron on us. Um, let's go ahead and just do something real quick. Yeah, this is fine. to get those going all right so let's let's see here in order to build these guys we need electric motors and in order to build electric motors we need iron gears and copper cables so we need some copper on us which is no problem at all so now we can build a bunch of those which means we can build a bunch of these and let's do it and it's going to hopefully use the yeah, it's going to use the ones we have yeah it's going to build them okay so, you know what? This is all going to be re rebuilt. We'll let it redo what it's got to do here, but let's let's get rid of all of this. Oops. Let's just reattach you for now. That way, at the very least, you can continue to pull from there, to put in there, and keep my science going. All right. That's fair. All right. So, now we should be able to build these without having to build burner assembly machines, because we have some built. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All you have to do is build iron uh, small electric motors. So, let's build a few of those assembly machines. Let's also build... Uh, some of these here, so deep burner mining drills, which we just did, and some small electric motors, so that's going to make this easy. Take all the burner drills that we did have and convert them into electric ones. Plus, we also had one already. Alright, so now notice these have a little window here. 
R for rotate. This shows me um, what they'll harvest. Now there is some overlap here. I don't know that I can... Yeah, it's, it's going to put out the same kind. Uh, I'd have to filter some of these areas out. I hate when they put these things directly on top of each other. It's super frustrating that it does it that way because then we have to like put a filter inserter here that grabs only the certain things and moves them and somehow pulls them off the line. But we, we can we can function without that issue right now. Um, so let's go ahead and build that um, as close as we can to the top end here. Is this mineable? Yeah, that is. So that's if that's mineable up here, there's only 114 up there. That's it. So some of these have some small amount in way more concentrated in the middle of course <sighs> of course super frustrating super frustrating all right well we gotta we gotta make do so let's go ahead and build you facing yeah. outwards for now we don't need too much overlap just like this for now We got overlap. Let's fix that. Just like that. Yeah, that that should. No, what am I doing? I'm not thinking straight here. Um, I guess this will work. I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's outputting onto a belt. Oh, that's fine. Let's just do it this way. I'd rather than be overlapped a little bit. Um, having them overlap a little bit will help them mine a little bit faster in these regions, but it's really not necessary. Um, and then we could have them spit them out. Yeah, just like that. See, so, like, you're going to get iron ore if I... iron ore and stone ore, so we're going to move you so that you only get iron ore there. And then we're going to go ahead and install. So what that'll do is that will, these will even out a little bit. And then, same thing. This one down here will have a little bit more iron going to it, um, but that's that's fair. And then we will have these two marry up together. And they will feed onto the same belt. And then that same belt will feed our smelting apparatus, which will be, I think, in... There's all this copper here that I can be tapping into instead of this copper. I hate the hardest part about this game is planning. Planning everything out so that you have full full understanding of where things are going and how you want them to go places. And I don't ever really have that. Really don't have an answer. So, we are going to make this our um, area here. Um, we'll just chop down all this wood first, and we will have it turn, uh, I think, upwards here. Because in case we want to do like a parallel copper mine here to our left, we can build upwards here. Um, or even downwards. Hmm. A lot more trees to clear here, so we'll move upwards. So that's what we'll do. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue doing that. Let's get it over a bit and give ourselves plenty of space. And then since these, um, since, hmm, yeah, we don't have, yeah, we don't have electric furnaces yet, so we have to use stone furnaces. Oops, I just created another one. Let's do one more. Let's do 10. So we are going to do 10 stone furnaces. 
they need to be able to pull um, yeah, 10 stone furnaces. So they need to be able to pull from the iron. And they also need to be able to get access to our, we'll leave it disconnected for now. Um, just like this. And we'll put a splitter back here, I think. That's fine. Just like that. And then you don't need a splitter. I mean, you don't need a... There we go. Just like that. And then we can put inserters here that'll grab the fuel. And then from here you will grab the <clears throat> yeah that 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 works so then now this is how long I played since and we're gonna work at this in a second here um, we'll look at that in a minute um, I'm trying to figure out what we want to do so then once these add iron or to it, we need to pull from it and put them onto another belt. We don't have the long reaching ones, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. Great. Perfect. Because then what we can do is we can take the long reachers and place them onto different uh, belts, and those belts will be out here. Now, I'm not trying to be super efficient, I'm just trying to explore this game because uh, I don't know how well this works. Uh, by comparison to other ones here, so uh, we're trying to figure this out. Let's see. All right, so just like that, like that, like that, like that, and 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 like. Oops, I need one more. Just like that. Okay, so now we should be able to hook up this for the fuel. And then once the fuel goes through, we can hook these up with power. Just like this. And you need power too. Just like that, we are producing. Oops, I left that a little long. Okay, that's fair. All right, so now we are imploding and we are now putting out cop iron plates. Um, wow, we didn't think this through, did we? power lines where they make sense nope and this is why you leave space between things everybody yeah because I'm not gonna be able to make this work now I made it too close and if I left space between all of them this would have worked out much better because then I could put power poles in between so it looks like we are back to the drawing board and a lot of you probably saw this already if you are somebody who knows this game well Ugh, we're gonna rebuild it i still like this general path of what we're taking here but we're gonna have to rebuild this in a way that makes sense luckily we have all the pieces we need to make it work we just need to make it work better all 
All right, so we need to build our 10, but we need to build them with a space in between. So there's our five there. One, two, three, four, five. We can extend this up now. We're gonna extend you up, and you up, and you up, and you up. And now we can rebuild all of this. So inserter, 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 inserter. Inserter, 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 inserter. And so on and so forth until everybody has been placed correctly. So now we are able to produce our material here. Now I just need to set it up so they can pull out the material. like that and the power to do it all <laughs> now it'll work like I intended which was nothing like this at all All right, so now that that's done, let's just go get these. Now, I don't know the maximum that this could potentially be, so we're gonna we're gonna build it out a bit. Um, just like that, and hopefully that is enough that we don't need to. Overdo it. Alright, so now that we have those copper plates, that be, um, iron plates being made up, now we can rebuild this whole assembly someplace else. So, now we have a iron um, access line that we can then start building our main line off of, and we can go in this direction to do it. I never build vertically, so this will be a nice little change to, to the way things go here. This whole setup's going to move too. I, I really don't know why I built it out that way. I thought maybe I'd build out right last episode, but now I'm realizing I don't really care. So yeah. All right, so burner assembly machines. Let's go ahead and build up two more of these so we have enough of them. And these are electrical ones. Um, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about it later. So we'll do electrical ones first. Burner assembly machines are now going to be replaced with these. Pop, just like that. Come on, just like that. All right, and now we need to build a, I'm gonna build a couple uh, of these to build, start doing gears. That I think is more important than anything. And you know what, I don't know that I want them pulling off the main line actually. We might start having things pull off the main line so that way we're pulling off like half the amount um, of what we're producing and then half the amount again and then re-inserting yeah that way there's only a quarter ever really going this direction right that should that works like we halved it and we have it again, so only a quarter and the other half is kind of getting stuck but here. But just because there's a bottleneck, this half amount here, does that, does that mean only half of a half goes this way? I hope so. Alright, so... We are going to build... Two of these... Making gears. And you're going to pull off the line to make your gears. Just like that. Let's get you started because I want you starting right away. Alright, so gears are being made by you. And as we said before, science. Uh, can we make a science station that doesn't require? No, we can't. 
so it still requires um, fuel. That's fine. Totally fine. All right, so then we need to put a science assembly machine. I keep hitting that button and I don't mean to. Um, a science assembly machine requires only gears and copper. Um, actually, you know what? You know, we're going to then collect all of this off of the line. Yeah, I really don't like this. I really don't. I'm not perfect with this. I really am. I'm really not perfect, but that's okay. Because we're kind of exploring as we go. And we need some plates. So we can make more of these. Um, Alright, and then we're probably going to need some more copper plates too. Yeah. Alright, so now. Placing them on the farther line. Just like that. So now we have those coming off of that. And this comes over here. And then we don't have a automated copper section yet. So let's go ahead and start automating that. it is so all right so with that being said we're going to turn this into the science machine i was talking about so we need um, in order for science to be made we need to bring over copper so we need to get a few more drills going we seem to be out of these so let's make a handful of those which ideally i'd use this over here because we're going to run out of this and not be able to produce enough probably from that but Yeah, maybe we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to build the copper lines parallel to this. Because I just don't I don't see how we're going to be able to use that small patch in the long run. So we're trying to future-proof a little bit our whole situation. Not significantly, but future-proofing a little bit. And we can we can get by not having to clear too many trees here. Ideally, like I said, I would have my nanobots, but we don't have them. Clear the rest of these trees out that are on this northern half here, and then I'll build my mining situation. Oh, that's stone, whatever, we'll take it. Wood, wood, and wood. All right, so this is relatively clear, um, and we'll start. We'll start with this. All right, so now we have four of these miners, which we can do like this. We'll start somewhere in the middle, just like that. And we'll have them place on a conveyor belt going in like this. And then we can do the same thing that we did here. Um, we're gonna bring it down and have it start in parallel with the other one. Just to be fair, nice and even. I think it's going to look better. Get rid of these stones. Oops, that one didn't get rid of. Alright. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, so now we could be even with the other. Yeah. I believe. Um, we'll build one more of these, and we're only going to build, yeah, we need to build it a little bit further, further down, we need a little bit more space, we need, in order this to be equivalent to that one, how much space do we need, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lines across, so we can start as close as here. So one, let's do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
so it needs to be at least this wide. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, start curling you in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that means this will be the middle. If I'm doing my math right and spacing it correctly. So let's start with this side. If this is the copper side of things, we need at least one space between. And let's go ahead and build three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We need at least eight. All right, so then with that being said, just like this, and you're placing on this line. And this goes all the way up. Just like that. And you're pulling from this line, and you're pulling from this line. And that should be enough which will bring that up as far as we go up actually we're not going to use all of it just like this just like that just like that all right so then that should be enough yep 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 and yep yep and Oh, that's smart. I've never noticed it has done that before. So you don't have to clear spaces, it just does it for you. Oops, I know I, I knew I did something wrong. I knew it. This one doesn't need to go up. It's this one. I'm not very good at doing this one time and not making mistakes, that's for sure. All right. I knew it didn't seem to make sense. All right, just like that. And then we need copper, well, I mean coal lines or fuel lines coming up here, at least a little bit. Eh, they don't need to be up that high again, because we're going to be doing, doing enough copper along with just these four lines. And are we short a... yeah, we are. That's what I thought, because we ended up using one. Alright, probably end the episode up after we get these science going here because um, we don't want to be here all day doing this. All right, um, and now since we have a splitter on that, it's cutting that in half there and half of it's going to there. But let's do it again. I'll split it right beforehand. And then this time, that half will be going here with another splitter. Half of it going upwards to there and the other half going to upwards of here. Just like that. And then that's the only thing. And that would be it. And now we can get it hooked up again. Just like that. I had them facing the wrong direction. And also this needs to be brought into the fold over here. So that way I'll start drilling up some copper. All right. And you don't have fuel because I have you in reverse. Okay, cool beans. Now this will start producing our copper plates and then our copper plates can get brought over via the same path. Ideally, this copper line would 
parallel this. Let's get it to parallel it completely. Just like that. Where half of the half is going there. Just like that. And then we could double back on it here. And then the copper plates can lead up right up to there. And we could do a long reacher and several of these. And then you can grab copper plates. We should be making red science and that red science will have to get pulled out and when the red science gets pulled out we want it to go into a science generating machine thing so at the very least we will use the one that we have for now put some coal in it and hook you up to power and at least now we can continue doing science and we'll go ahead and teach ourselves green science. So I think this is a great stopping point. We now have a very comprehensive and expandable, not very, which is a somewhat uh, expandable copper facility and iron facility. We are not nearly using all the iron that we are producing now because we're barely doing what we need to do with it. But what we can do now is we can then create a couple more dedicated lines here for copper gear uh, for, for for gears and we could use these gears for other things such as making um well they aren't needed to do that are they needed to do anything else oh yeah need to use make these and all that stuff so yeah we could totally start doing a process of pulling these off making a new line and starting to do uh, automation of our belts because we're going to need to use those pretty significantly to expand this base. So I hopefully this episode was entertaining. You guys like to see what I'm doing here. We are going to do some efficiency changes to this section here. Um, we might, again, this is a small little zone here and there's not a lot of coal here and there's a lot more coal further north up here in this region. We might tap into that and make that our energy production stuff, but then we got to transfer our energy production pretty significantly. So we might reorganize this energy production section here and this coal mining section. I mean, there are burners that we could change over to um, electric ones that will make this whole th thing more efficient. We'll use electricity that way and we'll be more efficient with our electricity. So next episode, we'll work on this section, how we improve that, all while we continue to do um, science ch uh, upgrades uh, going forward with this because we are going to want to expand this too so hopefully uh we'll be in that in the next episode thank you again for watching this is chuck thunder thanks for watching this episode be sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments below so i can you know get an idea of what you guys want to see take care